Hey, all my fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista. Mm-hmm, yep. And this is another episode of Honey Time. Oh, my God, y'all. Shit, I'm tired of seeing. So, if y'all want to rant with me, please stay tuned and keep it locked. Okay, up. okay, y'all. Before I get into this video, oh, my God. Again, I already shouted her out, but I'm going to do this shit again. My big sis, Miss Shine, a.k.a. Miss Joey's Chick 84. Hey, Shine, sis. Oh, my God, you did that in your L.A. Colors Moon Rock tutorial, boo-boo. Oh, yes, you did that. You got me wanting to dig the damn crates in my makeup stash. And look for that shit and try to recreate that. Yeah, because you did that shit there. You worked that shit. Girl, yes. Anywho, hey, y'all, this is going to be called What May Work For Me May Not Work For Your Ass, Summer Faux Paws. Okay, y'all know, I'm, I'm a uh, curvy, thick, delicious sign, you know, you know. Okay, I'm a plus size woman, you know what I'm saying? Some things our big ass don't need to be in. Like, okay. I understand you want to wear leggings. Okay. It's some easy throw on, you know, something, you know, nice and cute, chic. Okay. I digs that. But please have a shirt on that cover your motherfucking big ass fucking tire track rolls. Cover that shit. Now, y'all, I'm not dissing nobody. I'm just saying. Because I has a stomach myself. But I wear the right shit that's proportionate for me and my body type. I don't wear shit that one size all fits shit. I don't do that. Okay. Another thing I'm tired of motherfucking seeing. These bitches with their fucking hair done and nails done and all this shit. Outfit cold. But when you get down to the motherfucking feet, look like motherfucking pit bull puppies been motherfucking feasting on these bitches' feet. Like they've been having puppy child time on these bitches' feet. Look like they ate up, just ate the motherfucking up, y'all. Just ate up, bitch. Ate up. Just like it's a liquor store on every motherfucking corner. It's a motherfucking nail shop. Mean Lee and them do nails and shit. Every motherfucking corner like a liquor store. Ain't no excuse, bitch, to get your toes done. Most motherfucking nail shops charge $25. So you saying $25 is, is too much to get your toes done? If you don't do that, bitch, do me. I went to school and all that. I went to esthetician school and all of that. So I do my own toes. Well, I pay another bitch to do something that I learned to do and I can do just as good or even better than this bitch. Like, for really? For, for really? For real, though? That's fucking wasting money and I can't waste money. Okay. Another thing that I hate, y'all. Another faux pas. I'm all good for wigs and weaves. I'm all good for that. But I'm tired of these motherfucking bitches wearing rainbow colored hair like motherfucking Skittles and Chicklets and motherfucking Tic Tacs. Bitch, get your life right. For real. Like I said, I'm all for wearing wigs and weaves. Half of my YT sisters and my friends in real life wear weave. I understand it's a protective style. And everybody that wear weave ain't fucking bald headed too, by the way. Because everybody think because you wear a weave, you bald-headed. Bitch, no. Come a fucking again. Anyway. Another thing that I hate. These bitches wearing these motherfucking lace fronts. Look like they just went to the barber, got edged up, bitch. Zit, zit, zit. Like a nigga. That's not the business. I'm gonna need you to get your motherfucking life right. Because that's not cute, bitch. You look like... A him her that that ain't that ain't the truth i'm gonna need you to stop I, i'm gonna go back to the one size fits all thing too because it says one size fits all don't mean your big ass can fit in it now again i am plus size but i know 
what I can wear and what I can't wear. That's the difference between me and all, all these other plus size bitches that are trying to squeeze their big ass into something they know they don't got no motherfucking business wearing. Bitch, you look like a busted can of motherfucking Grand's biscuits about to pop open that motherfucking thing. The fucking can canister thing. For real. That's my look. For real. I'm all for women of all sizes looking good, your hair, your nails done, makeup flawless. I'm all for that. But when you come, come correct. That's how I am. Everybody that knows me knows when I do it, I do it right. I don't half step. I don't play a fucking round. Because when I go outside in that public, when I step outside these four walls uh, uh, and chill, and I go out in the public, Some of y'all bitches may say y'all don't care about how y'all look or how y'all perceive y'all selves to the public, but bitch, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Motherfuckers critique and stereotype bitches all the motherfucking time. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but if I see a bitch out of order, bitch, like a toilet that's not working, I'm, I'm going I'm, to I'm say it. And if your ass coming incorrectly outside, I'm going to take a picture of your ass and put your ass on Instagram and Facebook and all that. That's just what it is. To me, if you come outside and you don't care how you look, then you don't care if I take a motherfucking picture of your ass. That's just is what it is. But yeah, y'all, I'm just, tell me what the fuck y'all hate. Because in this summertime too, or about to be summertime, I can't. I can't deal with this. Like, tell me some shit that you don't like. Like, you know summer coming and the shit you done seen or about to see or shit you hate. Just for real. And two, I'm still seeing motherfucking niggas wearing Air Force Ones. Like, really though? Like, I thought those been burned in hell in the cell some damn where, but... Do you, boo-boo? If you think it's still popping, do you, boo-boo? But I would never, ever put my son on no shit like that. That shit is done. Ran through, like, ten prostitutes on the street corner. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. But uh, what else that I hate? Because I know I'm rambling, and I'm not trying to ramble. But y'all know how I do. Um... I'm trying to think what else I really hate. Oh, ooh, 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 bitch. What I hate, I hate these motherfucking bitches because you watch countless motherfucking YouTube videos and you try to be your own fucking test fucking dummy and you doing your eyebrows, bitch. When you do your eyebrows with the concealer, bitch, blend it. It look like motherfucking lightning has struck, struck your motherfucking ass like your ass has been hit with motherfucking flour. Like a pimp just said, bitch. <laughs> oh my god like oh my god like bitch blend i'm not saying i'm the best bitch in america to do her makeup better than any bitch i'm not proclaiming that but this bitch here know what she doing this bitch here ain't just gonna do her makeup any kind of way and go outside looking a hot ass wretched ass mess. That's just not how I get down. That's not Lala, Sandra, whatever you want to call me. That's not how I get down. So, yeah, I just, I don't get down like that. And I be telling people, makeup is all about placement blending, especially your foundation. Get the correct color. I've seen bitches look like Casper the Ghost. Ooh, look, y'all, I'm just saying, I know y'all gonna, <laughs> gonna say, la la, you fool. <laughs> this is just shit I encountered, y'all, like, real talk. I'm not making this shit up. I go out and about, I do makeup, I travel to people, people come to me, and I live my everyday life going to Walmart, Wally World, you know, shit like that, that type of fuckery in itself, but that's another video. Y'all, just pure fuckery at its fucking best. I just can't do it. And then these bitches, these, oh, I seen a big girl one day, y'all, had nerves, wear some motherfucking coochie cutters. I'm like, bitch, that ain't what you trying to do with your big ass. No, that's what somebody, a skinny bitch, not a big bitch like you. This bitch was a humongous bitch. I'm like, oh, shit. At Walmart, I'm telling y'all, I'm cursed by motherfucking Walmart. Seems like every time I go to Walmart, it's some fuckery that happens. Every time, I promise you. That's why I like to 
not to go to Walmart like that, especially the ghetto one on uh, 40 Highway. I'm in Kansas City, Missouri, so my Kansas City people or my Missouri people that know what I'm talking about, y'all already know what the hell I'm talking about. I like to go to the one by the independent small, in and out type thing there. 40 Highway, baby? Mm-mm. 50 million motherfucking lines in that bitch, but only two open. Really? I'm just tired of these bitches just fucking it up. I understand, you know, you, you want to do some different shit by all means. I'm a type of chick. I love, you know, doing different things with my fashion, you know, not trying to be like everybody else. I dig that. But why in the hell... You just looking a hot mess. It's a fine line with being fashionable, fierce, and fly to look like a frugal fucking hot mess. Like, for real. Y'all, tell me what y'all hate. Summer fashion or whatever. Some shit, some fuckery you done seen this summer. Because I know I'm not the only one seeing no fuckery and tomfoolery and bullshit. Anyway, y'all. Woo, side la la. Anyway, I want y'all to do one thing for me. Stay fly, stay fashionable for less. Tell all your friends, subscribe to my channel. More honey times, more makeup tutorials. I did a makeup tutorial on this. And I will have the earrings in the fashion box below. My girl, Miss Mazi Universe, did these and rings. So, yeah, you guys. Until next time, take care. Bye, honey nieces.